respected chairperson of this session, Professor N. Okerson, Professor J. K. Mitra, his speaker is invited, invited for this session, distinguished professionals, distinguished professionals, my teachers, JL Sardana, who left right now, my dear friends. It's, it's given me pleasure to be here in ICAL 2009. First of all, I wish to thanks Dr. S. Majumdar, Organizing Secretary of ICAL, for giving me opportunity to present my paper. I am Arun Kumar, Librarian of Fortune Institute of International Business. It is located at Basant Gaon, New Delhi. My topic for the presentation in the seminar is uh, use, use and usage of electronic resources in a business school in India, FIB. FIB stands for Fortune Institute of International Business. Today, you are living in an age of information. Information is a dynamic and unending resource that affects all disciplines of life. This is due to the development of the ICT and its impact of library collection. Today, there is no need to say the libraries are known as a digital library, virtual library, and electronics library. With the growing popularity of the e-resources, the libraries are migrating from traditional to e-print to digital. Among the e-resources, e-books and e-journals are in demand by users. Keeping in mind the changing needs of the users, there is a constant need for the librarians and the information professionals as well as the users to learn new things to cope with the present situation. So far concern to FIV, FIV which remarkably developed its e-resources, it has not developed its e-resources, but also institutional publication and research activities has also increased. Management education is growing like India's population. The segment is overwhelmingly overcrowded. The, the management education started in the mid of the 50s when the government started Indian Institute of Management. The focus of management education underwent a change in the mid 80s after the national policy was announced in 1986. At present, there are 1,800 big schools offering management education in the country, and this drive is growing each year. Fortune Institute of International Business, among of, um, one of them, I feel very proud to say in this August gathering about my library and its uh, and institutes. FIB was set up in the 1995 as a premier institute management education. Fortune Institute is the ranked A in the best school of India 2008 as a competition success review. The institute has been conferred best curriculum award by the Divang Mehta Business Schools as a part of the Brand Summit 2008. FIB has collaborated with the same Walton Business Schools, University of Arkanas, for faculty exchange, teacher exchange, consultancy, so many things. These are the, my following objectives of my studies, to know how many library members access the e-resources, to find out the frequency of the uses, the electronic journals, to know the quantum of electronic journals in a month, to identify the initiator who introduced the accessing e-journals to the respondents, which online database is much uh, demanded by users, and uh, materials of e-resources which are useful or not, and the lastly, the advantage of the e-resources and the problem which faced by uh, in the library by users. The study confined itself to the use and usage of uh, e-resources in the FIB library users it also includes the electronic, library, electronic resources on a manage, management subject which is subscribed by the library. 
The questionnaire method was adopted for my studies. Keeping the mind of the objective, a questionnaire method was prepared and, uh, and distributed to users of the library. The collected data were tabulated, then analyzed with the application of statistical tools. Table 1 relates about the response to the questionnaire. 100 questionnaires distributed among the library users, and out of them, 82 82 percent responded positively, whereas 18, 18 percent library users did not respond to the questionnaire. Table 2 relates about the awareness about the e-resources subscribed by the library. The table shows that uh, all respondents know the uh, e-resources which is subscribed by our library. This is the healthy sign of my library. The sources of information about e-resources, the FIB library share information with the users with the following sources. These are the office circular, notice library, email, library email, colleagues, institute website and the institute newsletter. I will not read all the analysis part but only highlight the, what you get in the more. The indicates the table indicate the larger number of 52, 63.5 respondents came to know about the e-resources mainly through library and library email notice. Frequency of access to online resources. It shows that the larger number of 32, 33, respondents access online resources daily basis followed by 22, 26.9 percent twice in a week, 18, 22, 20 percent once in a week, 6, 7.3 once in a month, and the 4, 4.8 when ill like. Time spent on accessing online resources. It shows that the larger number of 26, 33.7 respondents spent to the 12 hours per week in accessing online resources, followed by respondents 18, 20 percent, 16, 99 .5, 14, 17, 5, 1, 6, 7, 3, 2, 2, 7, 10 to 9, 13 to 15, 4 to 6, less than 3 and more than 15 hours respectively. The numbers of e-journals accessed during the search. Table shows that larger number of these are the data, the, the, the less of the time, I will not uh, say, analyze the, all the data. It's better to move up the findings, what findings have I find through my studies. Almost all members of F5 library are aware of the e-resources. The members were informed about the e-resources of the library, F5 library, from the library notice and the library email. Hence, the library seems to be the main initiator for the use of the e-resources. Most of the library members access the e-journals daily, which is a good sign for any academic institution. Most of the library members access e-journals 10 to 12 hours per week, which is also a good sign for any library. During a single session, most of respondents search 7 to 9 journals, which shows their interest in the e-resources. EBSCO online journals are mostly in use by the library members among the different types of material available online, the respondents mostly use the full text journal. Most of the respondents think that the importance of the e-resources is very much required for a study, teaching and the research. The main advantage as opined by the library members are simultaneous usage of facilities of e-resources. The main problem in accessing the e-resources as point, pointed by the respondent is the speed of the host website which is very slow in a some time. Suggestion, some of the suggestion I which I'll highlight here, the development of infrastructure facility for accessing e-resources by the users, better facility for the copying the download materials, adequate training program for users, for proper use of e-resources, Negotiation with the publishers consortia regarding the speed of the host website. More personalized service required to the users by the library staff in accessing the e-resources. Conclusion, with the information supervised, 
One is where you are currently witnessing a paradigm shift from modernity to cybernetic. In this new age, old established theories, frameworks, and the concepts are under challenge, and the fresh bridge of discourse is blowing. There are epoch-making times for a management education and the research, which is entering a new era of the mind extension era. FIV Library is one of the models among the top three schools in India, which is trying the best in this regard. Thank you for cooperating.